What if there was a magic pill, potion, or maybe even a shake which could cure or prevent you from getting cancer? I think we'd all take it. Uh, several diet crazes claim to cure or keep away cancer, but can you really eat your way to good health? As reporter Jenny DeFrizio shows us, a West Tennessee man claims he beat cancer without chemo, then he wrote a book about it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from ChrisBeatCancer.com. Chris Wark makes videos, runs a blog, and does public appearances, pitching his cancer cure claims. His recently released book, Chris Beat Cancer, is flying off bookshelves. I had sort of an internal resistance to chemotherapy. I just, for me, I didn't feel like it was the right decision. The Germantown resident was just 26 when he was diagnosed with colon cancer. After surgery, instead of going through chemo, he went the natural route. Chemotherapy has a lot of risks, and the biggest tragedy, I think, is that patients are rushed into treatment before they understand what those risks are and whether or not the treatment is likely to cure them. I was eating tons of junk food, fast food, processed food, tons of meat and dairy, so eating the diet that causes colon cancer. And so, I just knew, like, I've got to change my whole life. He began making his own fruit and vegetable juice and eating massive amounts of vegetables. My thought was, well, if I'm not going to do chemotherapy, I'm going to overdose on nutrition. I'm going to give my body everything it needs, anything it can possibly use to repair, regenerate, detoxify, and heal. In his book, he lays out a comprehensive plan for healing naturally. At the center of it, juicing, exercising, and eating a plant-based diet. I've seen a lot of people heal cancer naturally, and there are so many common threads in those stories. Can we cure our cancer with food? We can certainly improve our outcomes with it. If you're eating a plant-based diet, you know, much of the research shows you're going to have a better outcome than if you're eating a diet that's highly inflammatory. Sarah Estabrook is a nutritionist that specializes in nutrition for cancer patients. When it comes to curing cancer with food alone, she's skeptical. The research is just not there, at least not right now, that you can cure your cancer with food alone. But as I said, you can certainly improve your outcomes. Estabrook says relying solely on alternative treatments in lieu of standard cancer care can put patients at risk. In some situations, um, I've seen that the patient had died because they had delayed treatment so long. I'm not against chemo. Uh, there's certain cancers that chemo is very effective for. And there's others that it really isn't, but most patients don't know the difference. Wark says he isn't trying to convince people not to be treated with chemo. His goal is to empower them. It's important that people not get rushed into treatments that are potentially life-threatening and harmful that they don't understand. They need to make an informed decision. And so my big message is to help people understand that your choices matter. Like what you put in your body matters. What you eat matters. Now, Esther Brooks says that the best diet to prevent toxins from entering your body is high in vegetables with some protein and some fresh fruit. You should also limit your intake of simple sugars and alcohol.